Good morning and welcome to Toad and Roses Garden. Uh, today I am having a walk through my garden and giving some updates on uh, what blooming right now at the end of the summers and uh, um, some of uh, what not blooming. Um, let's start here in the front garden. Uh, I have uh, Roses, um, most of them are David Austin roses and uh, uh, some annuals. And uh, for the annuals, I have um, mostly uh, marigold and uh, alyssums that um, are blooming abundantly in the garden right now. Um, as you can see here, this is the alyssum. Um, that I um, planted um, throughout the garden and uh, the marigold um, here are uh, also um, dotting uh, throughout the garden here uh, with a uh, cheerful yellow um, really brighten up the house uh, let's take a look at the roses here. Um, here, this is Princess Alexandra of Kent. Um, so I guess this is the uh, last, um, the last flush that I uh, is they sending out. Um, oh, and this uh, lovely uh, cat. Calamintha that I planted along uh, the side with the roses here. Um, it's been blooming uh, beautifully uh, the entire summer and uh, I really love the uh, scent of this one. It's, um, it has a very strong uh, mint uh, aroma and the bee love it too. Look at this bee. And here another one too. Huh. Okay. And um, around uh, this corner, I have um, some of the uh, lavender bush. Um, this, I can't remember the uh, variety name. Probably monster wood. But except this one or this one is monster wood i'm not really sure but this one has the, the lighter uh purple and it's tend to sp spread wider and bigger look at that than the uh darker one i really love them and i've been uh harvesting um a few time already in the summer um, for drive and um, for some dry bouquet. Um, and here I got the uh, perennial chrysanthemum uh, that came back from last year. Um, I'm so happy that it has put on a lot of buds here. And I really love the color. It's like um, white, and then it has the light yellow in the center. Okay, and um, let's see. Oh, and here I got the annual uh, impatient. Um, I like the color, the coral pink. And uh, this alyssum that is uh, been blooming uh, beautifully, uh, like seeing the beginning of spring and it has spread um, like um, into like a big big clumps here but that I had to remove partial of this just to um, 
clear out some space for the for this rose um, to be able to um, to breathe. I mean to uh, clear out its uh, root a little bit so the lights can uh, regen. I don't want it to suffocate the rose and um, here this little Cosmo. This is the uh, Olivia rose. Okay. Let's go around here and check this corner out. Here I got the um, uh, big leaf hydrangea and the endless summer uh, that I have only one bloom for for this season. I don't know why this year this uh, hydrangea behaved like this. I guess probably because um, the cold snap or something that kill one of the buds here or i get the deer eat the top part of it so probably i get no bloom except that one right there and um this is poet wife uh a david austin rose and more alyssum uh, blooming along with some uh, low walker catmint here and uh, French marigold and uh, the David Austin rose here um, basketball And over there is the Golden Celebration, another David Austin Rose also. Cosmo. Okay. So far I'm really happy with this Golden Celebration uh, that um, been uh, it's first here in the garden and it's been growing really fast and uh, been sending out the flower uh, non-stop but one thing I don't like about this roll rose drop um, it's more like a semi uh, it's more like a semi climber to me because it's it keeps sending out like big long branches and I have to um, keep burning it down because it's kind of like messy it, it's it's hobbit it grow in hobbit it's kind of messy okay Another Olivia. This bloom is huge. It's been uh, it's been open for like about three days already. Here I got another a few um. Another rose uh, shrub here, Gabrielle Oak. This is a baby rose, uh, queen of elegance. And then some double uh, red impatient that I got from uh, Clarence uh, um, local uh, garden center. And I love this combination of alyssum and uh, frost diamond uh, euphorbia. Hmm. 
I love this uh, gold, marigold. Its variety name is Inca 2 Gold. And the Petunia Cafe Latte Petunia. That I got some uh, vines here too that I've been trimming it off because it keeps traveling and um, really messy. Yeah, like this. See it? Because I don't. Yeah, it's, I have to cut this one off too. And this flower look like this. Isn't that lovely? All right, let's move to um, the side garden over there. Oh, here, um, some of my container that I wanna show this lovely bloom, uh, Double Delight um, Begonia. I love these, how they look in um, nicely together the whole combination of begonia and this dark hookora and this little um, frost diamond euphobia and the little creeping jenny like a whole combination together looking so lovely Oh, and this one, uh, Cyclamen, that I saved it over the winter, and um, I been mean, keep it in the shade uh, spot here, and uh, it, uh, it um, replumbed for me. So nice. And this one, I love this one, and for its uh, foliage. I had, I have it as a little baby, like this and then now it's growing um big like this and i probably have to bring bring uh, bring it inside uh um for the winter this one is a begonia the yellow double delight it's got burn it really got burned because i um placed it in the um in the um sunny spot and uh, it doesn't, uh, it didn't like it, so the leaf got burned so bad, so I moved it here in the uh, shade. Okay, and these container, all the petunias and some of the uh, geranium looking tired already for the season, but still looking good though, along with these, um, I can't remember this name. I know it like a. I can't remember. With the um, looking still looking good with the uh, lissom here and that trailing plant. And then uh, over here, this corner. So vibrant. Because of the gold, uh, Mary, Mary gold, and uh, the um, dark magenta petunia, and then this alyssum, and the pink uh, geranium. Hmm. Okay. Okay, oh, that's um, this beautiful um, hydrangea. Look at this bloom. It's huge, bigger than my head. And this uh, climbing rose that I just uh, brought it down the other days. 
because it's void throwing a long long can like really high up like about eight ten feet so I guess it's the end of the season and I just burn it down so um, to keep the wind from rocking it this is the marigold so cute and this little mini rose that I just moved it from um, the other spot to here okay This is the side garden here um, that I have. Let's see. The uh, Black Eye Susan is almost done. But I like the sea head. Um, and this sedum, uh, Autumn Joy sedum is uh, a perennial one that has came back from last year i have two bushes here but the other one i just moved out to the uh, different area so um to give more space for this one to spread and here i got some roses here too i got the popcorn uh, rose uh, drift rose So pretty. Look at this. And this one is um, uh, like a bicolor uh, Veronica. This one is Salvia. Lesson with grandma. I like this salvia, the color. And some baby rose shrubs here that I uh, just recently moved them um, from somewhere else to this uh, garden bed. And uh, uh, I used to have some Cosmo uh, bushes here and uh, I already moved them out. I pulled them off. I pulled them out of this uh, garden bed because it was overshadow and suffocated the uh, roses here this is another climber um, called crown princess margarita that is still um, the shrub still small the climber this is the climber it's still small because I've been moving it so many times I hope this is the final place here and this is big. This big one is a um, another climber, but it just got done with this flush. And here I got um, uh, this rose shrub called Darcy Basso by David Austin. And I got this is this. It last uh, flush of the season. Look at this, so pretty. So pretty.
This one called high voltage rose. This one is butterfly bush, um, Miss Molly. That's the variety, uh, variety name of this one. Um, and this one uh, is hardiness down to zone five, and here um, is zone four B. Uh, but I'm lucky enough to have it come back for me. I hope it will be continue. Um, to uh, come back every year for me. I love the color of the bloom. It's so pretty. And it's uh, attract the um, butterflies and humm hummingbirds here to the garden. I really love it. And it smells good too. This is the Russian sage. They looking nice together the sage and then the uh, butter, butter, butterfly flower bush. This is another climbing rose called Pilgrim. This bloom has been up on for like three days or four days already. Here's another bud. Okay, let's go to the other side where I have the white rose is in plum beautifully here. Look at this. It's been blooming like profusely um, the whole summer. This is another climber. Princess, uh, Crown Princess Margarita. So pretty. Look at this. This whole cluster. And this Lichfield Angel. The bloom lasts really long. This one like been four or five days already. Yeah. See what I have in here. This mini rose and some mini roses here too. Over there. I love this salvia. This is the annual one. I will definitely uh, grow it again next year. Here I got some uh, zinnia. I just seeded in uh, early August. And hopefully they can make it before. Um, ho ho hopefully they can make it before the uh, freezing. Here, let's check out some uh, um, roses here. This is David Austin Rose. It's, um, uh, what is it called? Queen of Sweden. It's too small because I just moved it from other spot to 
um, to here um, in the spring. So it's still uh, um, trying to establish But it's still sending out like uh, bloom, like uh, spot radically. Ouch! Zinnia by volunteer. I still, I still have some, uh, I thought uh, frogs, club, uh, to bloom in the spring, but I uh, have them re it again in the fall. I mean, not in the fall now, it's still end of the summer. I love how it's like looking pretty with the red rose here. And this red rose car um, is supposed to be a curly pink or pink curly, but I don't know why it turned out to be a red one. It's got the, the ittens. And this one is Coriolopsis. Those baby rolls is um I I got it from a Clarence uh I think from Walmart or something a Home Depot uh but they are so beautiful um uh, is uh it's called True Inspiration I planted in the summer I mean midsummer. I love this moonbeam. This is another Cario Opsis mm, variety name called Moonbeam. It's looking beautifully. This one I just they had it like last month and now it plumbing again. Can't remember the name of this one. <laughs> 